what did you think about your team coming through again yeah. in the fourth and getting the win? Yeah, so, I mean, really, really, really proud of these guys. Like, they played well all game. Um, you know, Utah makes a good run. They tie the game up. We respond. You know, they, they keep coming as we knew they would. Um, and, you know, we kept, we kept matching them play for play when it mattered. So very, 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 very pleased with our guys tonight. Please, were you with D'Angelo Russell having a, another big fourth quarter like he did, 20 points? Yeah, I mean, he's just um, he's really locked in on his shot right now. It looks clean, and um, he's, he's letting it go. Um, you know, I thought we did a really good job, Kyle in particular, of finding him in that against that zone. Um, you know, playing with a lot of confidence right now. It's really good to see. It seemed like uh, every time the Jazz were on the verge of momentum, it seemed like D'Angelo was able to kind of Mm -hmm. pick that zone apart with the three. What made you guys so effective in kind of exploiting what they were doing there? Yeah, I thought, again, I thought the real key to it was uh, we moved the ball pretty well, you know, um, and we opened up some gaps. And I thought we got the ball to Kyle at the high post, and he's such a, you know, he had 12 assists tonight and such a great decision maker. Found Rudy, he found uh, D'Lo a bunch of times. Um, so, yeah, I thought that was definitely the key. We've had a habit of being static and stagnant against zones, and uh, tonight we weren't. Obviously, kind of an emotional night for Rudy. Making yep. His return back to Salt Lake City. How do you feel like he played? Over no, there? I mean, he was, was awesome. You know, he was really great. Um, we wanted to set the tone early with him, and uh, you know, he he had a he had a got us off to a great start. You know, played played. Um, you know, he just plays such a you know important role for us every single night. So we're happy we were coming in here to get the win for him. I guess. What do you make of that little minor little kind of practice at the very end there, Jazz? The Jazz guys take an exception to the lead. I mean, don't press us. You know, if you're going to press us, like, then we're going to lay it in. I mean, if, so it's, I mean, it's, you know, I, I don't make anything of it. So. You mentioned Kyle there. Uh, what do you think about just his versatility overall tonight and everything he was able to do, just the different ways that he impacted this game? Uh, yeah, I mean, he had the big, big block. Uh, the offensive rebound, Vando, he blocked him. Uh, or I uh, can't maybe it was Illinois. I can't remember, but yeah, that was huge. Playmaking, just you know, got you know, got to the heart of the defense at will. Um, um, you know, he's he's uh, you know, incredible player because you can literally play him at all five positions. You know. We'll go to the Zoom, John. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, he's a he's a heck of a player. Like he's got a lot to offer. Um, you know, he's we've asked him in the beginning of the season to kind of set the table a little bit more and get off of it early, and um, and you know he did that. And, you know, unfortunately, I think uh, it, you know it hurt it hurt rhythm wise a bit. Um, but he was starting to find a bit more rhythm, you know, even before Cat uh, went out. And, um, you know, I, I look back to the game in Cleveland where he came out and set the tone and, and you know, really kind of willed us to that win early. And he's been playing, for the most part, really well ever since. Um, and, uh, you know, we just want him to stay confident in his shot. He's an elite shooter, and he just needs to stay confident. In it. And, you know, he's done a good job of getting some extra work in, um, working out some kinks, uh, and letting it fly. Yeah, I thought, um, you know, the only real lapse that we had, John, was, um, you know, through the middle part of that first quarter when uh, we just got loose with them, um, you know, trying to take – we wanted to take away the three-point line, and, and we just got loose. We went under. Uh, they got separated. We didn't match up. We, we, didn't, uh, we didn't close out. You know, once we got that back under control, um, you know, we were able to hold them 29% from the three-point line. So I think that was the key. We'll go last question to Jace. Jace, go ahead. Hey, Chris, obviously his role is going to grow uh, with just giving Carl's absence, but is that one of those players where it really makes sense that his impact is going to grow as he gets more and more acclimated to all the players? Yeah, I think so. I think for sure. Like, um, 
you know, he gives us a connector out there with that unit. I think, uh, you know, he's looking to run the offense. He's looking to move the ball. You know, he certainly is a threat to score it um, kind of when you don't expect. Um, but, yeah, he's just, uh, you know, kind of one more ball mover that we've desperately needed. Yeah, I mean, we're going to have to play guys more. You know, I think tonight was a chance we had to play as guys as much as we had to just to get the win. We, you know, we knew we had a chance to control this game if we played, um, you know, the way we had played for most of it. So I was willing to ride it out with those guys. Awesome. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.